uh, certainly we would like your membership, but uh, uh, in order to, uh, to enjoy some of the uh, uh, benefits that's, uh, that you've earned, uh, you can find out through our organizations. And one of the important ones is the DAV van that comes yeah. around once in a while. Do you want to talk about that yeah. a little bit? Well, I was going to say, the, the DAV has probably the most uh, professional, school-trained uh, persons to take claims from the veterans. And the national smells out to not only the veterans, but the people who they believe are, that are um, eligible to let them know when our vans are coming. They come to the DAV lot about every, about three times a year. And they also come to Laurel at the uh, Harley Davidson. And they're in Fort Washington and then also Oxon Hill. But uh, as I say there again, uh, the, we don't have one scheduled that I know of right now, but we, we will. And you can always call the DAV, and the numbers will be on the, uh, on the monitor at the end of the program, the 301-464-8899. But we have a professional staff up in Baltimore at the Johns Hopkins Plaza, and you do not have to be a DAV member, or you don't have to be a member of any veterans organizations in order to get these services. Of course, we'd like you to join, and when you're in within the organization, it's a lot better, but you don't have to. It's no prerequisite. And uh, I always use this as a term. If uh, you get a claim and you have to appeal it, it's like walking into a courtroom with Matlock and Perry Mason on your side. They just say, well, that's good because they know the DAV does their homework, and they really work for the veterans. And, that, and that's the other important point uh, that we can't stress enough. Uh, if you're a veteran and you haven't uh, uh, signed up with the VA, you should do it immediately. And if it's a family member, get a copy of their DD-214 and get them down to the, uh, the VA and get them signed up into the system because that's uh, critically important. Uh, you might be young, you think you're going to be healthy. Uh, things happen when you get older. So get registered and do it now. It's like people don't realize it. Any person that served in Vietnam is eligible for Agent Orange. A lot of people didn't realize that. I didn't for a long time, didn't realize it because I thought since I was way up north in I Corps and I wasn't really amount too much of the Agent Orange, but it doesn't make any difference. And now the issue is among the people who are on shipboard right. adjacent to uh, Vietnam. Right. Uh, one of the national service, and I say this to anybody out there who did serve in Vietnam, it's his opinion that hardly anybody who served near combat in, in Vietnam isn't 10 percent disabled right. as, a, as a minimal. Minimally. And, and I would think that would be true of, of every combat area because uh, uh, PTSD is, um, is widespread. It's more recognized now than it had ever been in the past. And in a number of the magazines, you're even seeing medical personnel that you don't think are related to actual combat situations actually uh, suffering from PTSD. Yeah, one thing I would like to say is the, the American Legion and the DAV, we have the two chapter, or the, the post homes, chapter homes in the area. Uh, the Marine Corps League and the VFW also meet at the DAV. But we are sister services. We, we have our inner service rivalry, but when it comes to service for veterans, we are, we are, we are arm in arm in order fighting for that. Uh, like I said, uh, Phoebe said that they have some great programs going on. Uh, we at the, a lot of times, we will donate our hall to, uh, for good reasons, for blood drives. Uh, we had a big uh, uh, health fair there not too long ago. And uh, they, they insisted on giving us a donation, but we didn't charge for it. And, uh, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of the local teachers, some of them asked to come to, and have a meeting place, and we'll just let them use the hall for a meeting. And we try to be very community friendly. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and as I say, any veteran can come, in, come to the chapter home. And I, I think the American Legion has the same thing. All you do is prove that you're a that you're a veteran, and of course, we like you to join if you can. And um, I have a brochure here, Why Join? We have them at the DAV, and uh, the membership, uh, you can start as years, and you have three years to pay off, and we do not have annual memberships in the DAV. Whenever you sign up, you become a part-life member immediately, 
you have three years to pay it off, but you can become a life member immediately. Mm -hmm. And um, and I have all that information. I'm not going to. Uh, well, they can stop by the. They can the stop by the AV and pick and, up and this pick brochure. Mm -hmm. uh, why join? And of course, right now we have our starting the first of September. We'll start our uh, Forget Me Not Drive. The VFW and American Legions call it the Buddy Poppy program. Unfortunately, the DAV we only do it one month, where the other two they have it year round. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody received uh, our m newsletter mm -hmm. with the uh, Forget Me Not donation. And uh, in fact, I had one of our auxiliary members call up, and you know Brenda Graham. Yeah. Uh, she called him and says, uh, "Where can she pick up some buddy? Uh, somebody say buddy? And so forget me nots and the can. She wants to go to a couple of the local grocery stores and and collect to let mm -hmm. them know. And so I'll I'll give that information to her. And Phoebe, you have applications for uh, the American Legion. Oh, uh, that's correct. We also have a brochure that says why you? Why should you join? And um, always applications at the door. That's true. We welcome new members. And uh, also, the American Legion also, from time to time, you bring up uh, veterans from the hospitals and stuff for various functions that occur at the American Legion. Absolutely. In fact, um, usually monthly we visit uh, Walter Reed. Um, we're changing our location to Bethesda. And we, we have uh, donated a, um, a really nice booth there. So we're hoping that that gets moved as well. And we also recently saw the, there was a bench, bench that yes. was also uh, donated, and that's going to be outside, of course, for Disneyville Post 66 it, bench. for folks to enjoy uh, when the weather is fine. And, um, and from time to time, the meals that you actually, uh, with a bus, go down and pick up uh, wounded veterans from the hospitals and bring them up to the DAV for some functions, for the which is all part of, of our organizations, which are Veterans Helping Veterans is what we do primarily. Um, but the other point of it is, is um, oftentimes we run into fellow uh, veterans who don't believe they're, uh, they're eligible for anything. And the whole idea is, is the only way to find out is to join the VA and, and make a claim. Right. Now one thing about the Legion and the, and the DAV, anybody that was in the military from January of 1990 for the first Gulf War is eligible. So that's almost a career. And of course, it's during times of combat. Uh, the DAV went from 7 December 741 all the way to May of 75. And there was a small period of time, but we have all that information. But there's a very short period of time where most people are not eligible. And then doing the VFW part, anybody that served in Korea for 60 days or more after one February 55 is now eligible for the VFW, which, which is really great. So anybody, any veteran out there is eligible for American Legion, VFW, of course, you have to be a Marine. AMVETS. AMVETS and be a Marine for a Marine Corps League, or you yeah. can be an associate member of the Marine Corps League. But uh, you have to join, be counted. And like I said, Jerry does a great job uh, representing the DAV, the Marine Corps League, and the Joint Veterans with legislative, and we've been getting a lot of things passed in uh, Annapolis because of Jerry's uh, getting down there and testifying. Mm -hmm. Phoebe, do you have some other stuff you want to tell our viewers? It's also really important to recognize um, through membership, that's how we get sponsored, sponsorship for all these wonderful programs. So it, it's only for membership, but you add up you know, over a thousand members, and that's um, that's quite a lot of money to go towards our programs. That's right, and uh, and and we need active volunteers too. And that's One why thing. we're lobbying uh, for on um, uh, the west on the eastern shore. You know, they have slot machines in the veterans' posts, and it's not legal here in the western shore. And we've had legislation in the past few years, and of course, a major beneficiary would be. Uh, post 66 and of course the DAV because they have chapter homes here and half the money has to go to charity so it really would be a bonanza for veterans causes we urge everybody out there to urge their legislators to support this we last year uh, Senator Miller the president of the Senate came out in favor and the bill passed in the Senate and then died the last night in the, uh, the House of Delegates but we'll be back one thing we do have is uh, coming up is we have our Veterans Day ceremony and the honor guard is an integral part of that ceremony. They do their, uh, they do the uh, volley and uh, such. 
And so uh, be looking for the Veterans Day. It's always done November 11th at 11 o'clock. The DAV is in charge this year, and we always have a luncheon at the DAV Hall afterwards. And uh, way back in 1982 when I was commander first time, there was about 25 people in five wreaths. Now we have in excess of 300 people, and we have 37 wreaths. So it has grown to be really great with the four veterans organizations that we yeah, have. It used here. to be the hardest of hardcore veteran activists and a few of the politicians if it was election year. Now it's become a, a community activity. Right. It's like and the Memorial Day Parade is now a big event right. in, in Bowie. And it is a true tribute. Yeah. Right. And, and again, um, it's the American Legion that does the setup for the speaking, uh, the, the speakers and the music and and all that. It's just part of the way that our veterans organization in town uh, help each other. Right. Yeah, we really are interchangeable. Like the Marine Corps League and the DAV, you change hats on Tuesday and yes. Wednesday night. And right. It's a, a partnership colors. and it's right. not oh, so. unusual to have no. No, um, no. memberships at more than one post. Right. Yeah. You have your inner service rival, but we always have one goal. Mm -hmm. to yeah. fight, fight for the rights of veterans and, and, yeah. and get them everything yeah. that they deserve. But they have to sign up. Right. They, and it, uh, we had Dennis Smith uh, on a couple months ago. And he was the director of the Maryland health care system. And go up to Baltimore, take your DD-214, and get registered. We also, I think that would be the best place to go, even though you can go to Washington, D.C. VA Hospital. And then we have a satellite uh, office in Greenville. Greenville. But, but I don't know if you can sign up there or not. I'm not sure. Well, I would imagine they would have information for you to do right. so. Or you can go online, but you still have to provide your DD-214. Right, then you have to also get photographed. Mm -hmm. But um, as I say, get registered. And um, if you have any questions, um, give us a call. All our number's there. And we will be more than happy to uh, uh, sit down with you and see, show you exactly what you rate and how to join. And each of the posts are open uh, seven days a week. Uh, at uh, noon, right? Is that okay? Ours so. is our, we're open from noon until ten during the day, and noon until midnight on the weekends. Okay, and and the uh, legion is noon until uh, Sim similar similar hours. Sometimes it's um a it, little bit it's, later. It's based on uh, our patrons. Mm -hmm. But the only two days that we're closed now at the DAV is Christmas and New Year. I mean Christmas and Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. We're we're open pretty much all the other times. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> so uh, it's up to you. You need to get active. And it's hard to believe, but I want to thank you for watching Veterans Forum. We hope you enjoyed the program and learned important information useful to you. Now we ask you to get involved with other Bowie veterans by actively participating in one or more of the Bowie veterans organizations. For the American Legion, call 301-464-9814. For the Disabled American Veterans, 301-464-8899. For the Marine Corps League, 301-249-5499. And the Veterans of Foreign Wars, 301-262-3520. <clears throat> Thanks again for watching Veterans Forum. And we want to thank Jim Travelin as our director and photographer. Still.